with your money, don't care who judge Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love Stay out the way, if you a gangster, kill or a thug Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement Now your name on affidavits and court indictments Can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes up Yo! What's good, y'all? What's the word, man? How everybody doing, man? I hope everybody's having a great day, man I hope everybody's looking forward to having a great weekend. And most of all, I hope all of y'all are staying y'all ass out the way, man. Why? Because that's what we have to do, man. Why not? Why not stay out the way and live stress-free, not worrying about no troubles, not worrying about no police, not worrying about nothing, about getting to the bag the legit way, man. That's all you should be worried about, man. You are good if you're out here trying to get money some type of way, no matter how small of a scale it is. Long as you out here putting your mind to it, putting your, 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 your everything that you have into just making your life better the legit way, man. You are winning. It don't matter what it is, man. You could be on the corner asking for a dollar. It's a hustle. At the end of the day, you're not selling drugs. You're not breaking the law. So why not put whatever you have, man, behind and just staying out the damn way, man? That's all you have to do, man. Staying out the way is a great life, man. That's all I tell y'all, man. Period. But let's turn this one up, y'all. We're going to turn this one up. Send it to somebody in y'all contacts. That's what we ain't got it yet, man. Like, share, and subscribe. That's what we got to do, man. Let's get it. 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 That's what we got to do, man. Period. Y'all know the count. But I'm not finna hold y'all up. It's time for business, and the story I got for y'all today is called Violence Over White Boy Vic. It got crazy, man. It's a crazy situation, man. Don't judge me, man. Crazy situation, but I'm going to take y'all to 2010, man. This is 2010. We're on Lawrenceville for this story right here, and this is when they just moved me from 60 building to 30 building, so now I'm in 30 building. I'm where I want to be at, but... This is now, I'm over there now, my my um my homeboy Sam Juan and Hot Rod, both of them has went home, they have went home, rest in peace of those guys, they both went home, I'm in there dolo, for real, for real, a couple of dudes in there I knew, but basically dolo, but it's a great compound, you know what I mean, so y'all heard the story where I said I went through like three, four roommates, this is around that time, after the three, four roommates, I ended up laughing, I landing a great roommate, and his name was Red, man, and he was a cool dude. He was a great, cool dude. I ain't gonna lie. He had his own stuff. He was with the shenanigans as far as getting the money. You know what I mean? Got down. We was just on the same page about everything, man. We didn't go at it for over the, who getting the bottom bunk, the top bunk. He was cool with the top bunk. Great roommate, man. Perfect roommate, man. But I can remember when I was in 60 building side, though. It was this white dude over there, man. And somebody that spends a lot of money on drugs, y'all got to understand, like, people will kind of label them like the the golden goose, like they'll be like the, the guy on the compound that has a lot of money. And this particular dude that I'm talking about, man, his name is Vic, man. He's a white dude, man. Vic was from Roanoke, Virginia, man. Vic, he was one of these dudes. I didn't know him when I was over in 60 building side, but all I knew that he was a white dude that used to like to run a lot, run laps. That's all he used to do is run laps. And he used to spend that damn money. And I used to see him talking to certain dudes on that side. And, you know, dudes used to say his money was, was, was great. His money was good. But I didn't know him like that at the time. You know what I mean? Boom, fast forward a little bit. Now I'm in 30 building. And me and bro is in the cell together now. I look up one day. Vic comes on to outside of the yard. I seen him when we was in the child hall. I'm like, damn, he on outside of the yard. But he wasn't in my building at the time. He was actually in the 50 building. So... I'm 50 building, y'all, like 30 building where I was at, regular population. 40 building, that's where they moved me from when they put me in San Francisco, regular population. 50 building is the therapeutic building. That's a third, the whole part, all the whole building is therapeutic. That's what they do. You go in there as the drug block. You go in there trying to like program, get yourself sturdy for when you go home. And you know, a lot of drug dealer, drug addicts be in there. But I'm trying to figure out why the hell did they move the biggest drug addict into 50 building? I didn't know. I didn't understand it. When I seen Vic over there, I didn't understand it. But I just thought to myself, maybe he just trying to make a play to get on this side of the yard. Because dudes do that sometimes. Get to the program, then buck, then they move you to population. So, boom. When I see him, you know what I mean? He's on the yard doing his regular routine like I used to see him doing on the other side of the yard. He's running laps. You know what I mean? And 
like the, now I see him talking to a lot of dudes that you know what I mean that get money on my side of the yard. A lot of dudes that kind of like be with the get the money the safe way. And when I say the safe way, y'all, y'all have to understand like when I sold drugs in prison, especially when it came to the hard drugs, man, like. I would call it what you want. Call it being scared, a sucker move or whatever. But majority of my hard drugs would be sold to the white community. And the reason why I say that, and there's no racism involved in this. It's just the white dudes that were in there will be the ones that will spend the money. You wouldn't have to worry about killing them over your money. And they're going to just keep spending money. Why? Because they want to keep getting high. It was a fair exchange. Now, black dudes, I'm not saying they're not capable of this activity. But a lot of the black dudes that are in there that likes the hard drugs, a lot of them can't afford the hard drugs. So they'll come with all type of different moves and plays to just try to get you. And I done went through that. And I don't like going through having to sell drugs and having to worry about killing somebody. You're not going to be able to do both. So call it what you want. I used to sell safe drugs. When I used to sell mines, I'm making sure I'm giving it to somebody that I know that's going to give me my damn money. And that's just point blank period Dudes used to be mad Because they know sometimes when I had it And I'm not No I might do some pod stuff Like little commissary here and there But the big money stuff I'm dealing with who I've been dealing with I'm dealing with who's going to pay me my damn bread So boom I'm seeing I'm seeing the dude Vic He's talking to a lot of dudes I see him talking to a blood dude That I actually know from Norfolk man And I'm not going to say his name But he was from Norfolk And I see him talking to Vic And you know he gets on from time to time So I see him talking to Vic Boom, 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 boom. They're having a conversation. So after we left the yard, bro ended up calling me. You know what I mean? When he seen me. So we about to go back in the building. He was like, yo, look. He was like, yo, you see that white dude I was talking to? I was like, yeah. He was like, man, listen, bro. White dude spin that damn bread, man. He was like, man, that nigga spin that bread. I was like, for real? I heard when I was on the other side. He was like, listen, bro. The man will buy your whole package. He will buy the whole pack. He said he won't play no games. The man will buy your whole package, man. I'm like, the whole package? He was like, man, the whole package. He was like, man, the man is super duper full up. His dad got a lot of bread. He got a lot of bread. Man, he was like, man, the man, all the man want to do is get high. He was like, man, that man is full up, man. So if you ever get something, man, holler at bro, man. He was like, man, that's my word. He was like, man, guess what he just paid me, bro? You know what I mean? He was like, man, he paid me probably. He said, man, this is my word. He said, I killed him last month. And he said, he just gave me another 2500 this month. He was like, man, he'll buy the whole package. I'm like, damn. So bro just telling me how he's working his play with Vic. You know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, it's crazy, man. So boom, I look up another time. You know what I mean? I see Vic talking to a crip dude that was in 40 building. And he's actually a guy that gets to the money too. And he used to get a lot of the hard drugs as well. So I see Vic talking to him. And that's what Vic used to do. Vic used to just bounce around and deal with dudes that he know he can deal with. And he know these guys are not going to kill him. He know these guys are not going to kill him because at the end of the day, he's going to pay the damn money. You know what I mean? And that's just what it was. So boom. I look up. Vic is moving into my pod. I see the cart coming in. The slide open. I look. It's a white dude coming in. I see a jean jacket. He used to wear the jean jacket a lot. And Vic was a funny dude. I ain't even gonna lie. He was slightly funny. And I'm gonna tell y'all who he looked like, man. Vic kind of reminded me of a taller Michael J. Fox, man. <laughs> that's where he had the same hairdo. Kind of tall, a little freckled slightly, man. And that's who he looked like. He just looked like a taller version, man. So when I seen him moving the pod, I'm like, damn, he in the pod now. But I seen him talking to another white dude that's, that's I'm cool with in the pod. And he was talking to the white guy. And he was telling the white guy he just was coming in our pod because he's trying to get in 32 pod, which was the honor pod. And it's a lot of dudes in that honor pod and 32 pod in my building that be getting on with the hard drugs. So that's what he's trying to do. So boom. Now he's in our pod. We on the yard. When I see him on the yard, you know what I mean? All he doing is... This is how he run. His eyes be big as a bitch. That man run the whole damn wreck period. He was the only one that I ever seen run the whole wreck period. And I feel like he just used to do that just so he can duck everybody. He don't got to talk to everybody. Because a lot of times he will buy the whole sack. And there won't be no more sack to buy. And there would be so many dudes, other dudes trying to get stuff. And like he just used to just, he'll work out. He'll put his music on. He'll... Come around. And... I'm like, damn, that's a running mother... That's all he used to do was want to run. So I'm looking at him like, damn, he running. The crypt dude talking to him. You know what I mean? I see the crypt dude talking to him. I'm like, man, what the hell is going on? So he's doing his regular routine, just running laps. And you know what I mean? When my man told me buy the whole package, I started thinking because in the works, 
me and my roommate, my roommate come to me one day, y'all. Boom, he pull up on me like, look, I found a junk for you. You know what I mean? He was like, she my, he, she my girl, peoples, but she willing to bring the package, bro. Just talk to her real quick. Boom, 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 boom. We had a jack at the time. He was like, look, just call and talk to her. He gave me the girl number. I called the girl. I talked to the girl. The girl said she's willing to bring the package, but she's not bringing no marijuana. When she told me that, I was like, hmm? She probably heard when I said, hmm? We, no marijuana? What the hell you mean? You're not bringing no marijuana? She's like, nope, I'll bring anything but marijuana. I was like, you know what? I wasn't going to be a pig. I sucked it up. I told myself, I said, you know what? Fuck it, man. Let's just get what I can get. My roommate ended up getting his brother to give us a Vic. Now, people that don't know what a Vic is, it's seven grams. He gave us seven grams. So you know what that is? <laughs> That's a split down the middle. 3.5 a piece. We had 3.5 a piece. That was perfect. I went over there. I seen old girl. I made the play. I came back with it. Boom. It was simple. Came back with the jump. Me and bro got 3.5 a piece. So now me and bro got to work. Now me and bro got to work, man. I'm like, damn, this is crazy, man. So now the white dude Vic is in our pod now. So if we wanted to do business with him, it'll be easy to do business with this man. He's in the pod. But at the same time, like I told y'all, I was a smart hustler. Even on Sussers, I learned my lessons on Sussers. And I saw everything that I heard dudes make mistakes that be coming to Sussers from Lawrenceville, fucking up. I take all their mistakes and put it in my, just put it in one and just scramble it into my brain. I'm not going to make these mistakes. So I just was on point by the time I got to Lawrenceville, by the time I touched my first package slightly. You know what I mean? This is my word. I didn't care if he was spending a whole lot of bread. I wasn't dealing with him at the time. Why? Because he, I know he owe a lot of people. God, I know he owe the crypt dude in 40 building. He owe my man over in 31 pod. And God knows who else he owes. So boom. My roommate's in the pod. You know what I mean? My roommate, I mean, my roommate's in the cell. Me and my roommate in the cell. He fucked with the powder a little bit slightly. I didn't. I didn't do powder at all. All I smoked is marijuana. So everybody's hearing that we have it. Everybody's hearing that me and my roommate have the powder. Now, my roommate told me it was gas. I didn't know yet. I gave some to a couple of my homeboys, sent stuff over here, a little commissary, but I wasn't selling no big money junks yet. You know what I mean? I told old girl when she brought it, like, look, I'm gonna do something for you, but you gotta hold on for a second because I'm just moving over here for real. Let me get myself together. I'm a, you know what I mean? I got you, but just hold tight. So boom, I was I wasn't even in a rush to sell none to get like big money, even though I know the dude Vic was in the pot. So one day we in the sales, probably like two, three days, two, three days later after us getting the package. Now, we're in the sale, we hear a knock. Yo, see somebody, a white arm come through the jaw. I look like, yo, he can see his face. It's the white dude that I seen Vic talking to when he came in the pod. He like, yo, look, what's up, Weezy? I'm like, what's up? He like, look, man, my roommate is sitting on my bed. I'm standing like by the door. He like, look, man, the white dude, Vic, man, they work in the gym. He, he, he saying, you know what I mean? He heard y'all got some powder, man. He was like, look, he said it was good. He trying to buy it, you know what I mean? I'm like, for real? He was like, look, this, let's let him try it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was like, yo, I ain't really got nothing right now. I'm being smart. Like, I'm being cautious. I'm not doing what everybody else would do immediately and jump and mess with this man. You got to be smart in there. So my roommate was like, all right, shit, send him up here. So boom, he come up there. You know what I mean? Yo. He come to the jump. He come in. We're like, yeah, man, what's up, man? I'm Vic, man. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? I was like, I used to see you on the other side. He got my roommate up. You know what I mean? So... He was like, look, man, I heard y'all had some powder, man. He was like, look, if it's good, I'll buy it. I don't mind buying it, man. My money is good, blah, 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 blah. I'm listening to him. But still, though, you know, like, this is prison. I, I'm No tricks are going over my head. No more. So my roommate whipped some shit out. He was like, look, let me know how this is, dude. So he don't snort it. He grabbed it. He was like, he put it in his gums. He was like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. I was like, but look, you know what I mean? I was like, you don't snort it though, bro? Like, you just go, he was like, nah, man, like, you know. He was like, man, I don't tell nobody my business, man. He had the funniest voice in the world, like, when he talked. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He was like, man, listen, man, I don't tell nobody my business, man. But, matter of fact, hold on. He shot out the sale. I'm looking like, he just dipped, you know what I mean? Two minutes later, he come right back. 
He was like, look, man, like I was saying, man, I don't tell nobody my business, man. He had a blue shirt on, blue button down shirt on. We used to buy that. We used to be able to get the Levi blue button down shirts. And he had that joint on, no shirt up under it. And it was wide open on some on some ultimate warrior looking shit. So he got sweatpants on. He went in his sweats. He was like, look, man, I don't tell nobody my business, man. He came out with the, it looked like it was the Scrabble bag. Y'all ever played Scrabble with the little, where you put the pieces in that and shake it up? It looked like it was the Scrabble bag that he got somebody to rig up and put like a zipper on it. And it was like he had a pouch. And when he whipped the pouch out, I'm looking at the pouch, y'all. And as I'm looking at the pouch, the first item, item number one that comes out of there was like this little black rubbery inner tube looking piece. And it was like this long and it was like rolled up slightly like a snake. And then he put that on the table. He's right there at our table in the cell. He pulled that out. Boom. The next thing he else he pulled out was a spoon. And I don't know where the hell he get a real spoon from. It wasn't a real spoon because we have sporks. So I know it wasn't a spork or a real spoon, but it was a material that he had bent. And it was like the spoon was pointed that way. And he pulled that out, put that on the table. And then he pulled out a little cotton ball and he put that on the table. And then my roommate was like, here. So he was like, man, I was like, yo, what the hell you about to do with that shit? He was like, man, listen, man, like I said, I don't tell nobody my business, man. He was like, but I shoot it, man. Don't tell nobody, man. A lot of people don't know because I don't want to put a lot of people on. And then it starts getting hot. I shoot all my dope, man. I shoot it all, man. I'm like, but this isn't dope. I said, where I'm from, we call dope Hellron. This isn't dope. This is powder. He was like, well, I call it all dope. He said, I do powder, man. He said, I shoot it, man. He said, when I shoot it, it just takes me out of here, man. I just feel like I can freaking fly over the fence if I want to, man. It's just... I just, it just gives me a crazy and drilling and rush, man. And I go outside and run my laps and I'm just zoned out for the rest of the day, man. And just, that's how I do my bed, man. Fuck it. That's how I have to do it. So I'm like, you really about to shoot? My roommate was like, let him do it, bro. Let him do it. I want to see the shit. So I'm just right there over top of him. Like, kind of like, and he's sitting at the table. Boom. And he's putting it together. He got the powder. He put some of the powder on the spoon. And then... He looked like he put some water. I, I want to say he went and got like a drip of water or something. He dripped something. It might have been the water onto the spoon. And next thing you know, he asked, did we have a light? Like, yeah. So I pulled out a little light, Joe. He got the tissue, flamed the tissue up. And then he put the tissue flaming over the spoon. And it was cooked. It sizzled. Not long. It was quick. Not like how you would do probably somebody to do hair on. Like, it was a quick sizzle. Like, shh. as soon as it sizzled, he moved the jump. He put the cotton ball in the spoon, y'all. Then he went in the bag and pulled out a needle. Trust me, you don't supposed to have needles in prison. There's nothing you supposed to, you don't supposed to have needles at all. This is like my first needle that I encounter outside of medical. This man had a needle. Man, he pulled the needle out. He stuck the needle in there. I seen that poison going in the damn, in the needle. He pulled it out. That man grabbed a rubber joint. He wrapped it around his arm, caught it with his mouth. That jump tightened up. He, he caught that vein. Man, this man stuck the needle. I'm sitting there like, I have seen movies of people using heroin. Not on the street, though. I never was around that. Man, that's my word, man. To see that man shooting up in my face in prison is nuts. And y'all want to come to prison? This was shit happening in prison, too. It's crazy, man. This man is hitting the damn joint. When he hit the jump, y'all, he said, as soon as he stuck it in, he was like, Mm-hmm, 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 that's the one, that's the one, man, that's the one right there, man, that's the one right there, man, he got up, he, my, my son, he like, he like, that's the one right there, man, ah, he dapped me up hard as a bitch, I'm like, ah, I didn't see my roommate, yeah, man, that's the one right there, man, yeah, man, he moved the joint, he was like, he was like, yeah, he licked the, ah, he licked the blood, he's a real maniac, he licked the blood from the needle shot, <laughs> That's what you know you a veteran. He licked the blood. I said, man. He was just like, yeah, man. Yeah, that's the one right there, man. That's the one right there. That's the one right there, man. He was like, what do you want for all of it? And it was like a quiet, it got quiet in the cell. And he was like, I want it all. I was like, oh. My roommate was like, you want all of it? He was like, yeah. But he was like, look, I don't want to, I ain't got really all of it. He was like, look, man, what do you, what's, what's going on, man? He was like, man, listen, matter of fact, Boom, he shot out the cell again. Now he, he's drilling and running. Boom, he shot out the cell again. We looking, what the hell is he doing? 
Two minutes later, he come back in. Boom, he come back in the cell. He was like, look, he went in his pocket. He pulled out two papers that was folded up. He was like, look, check this out. Boom, the first jump was his monthly statement from prison. And it showed that he had 11,000 on his books. The second paper was a copy that somebody sent him. This was a copy, not a real copy, but it, you could tell somebody copied it. But it was a Bank of America statement, and it had his name on the paper. It had Victor, and I'm not going to say his last name, but his first name was Victor. It had his name on the paper, and the junk said the man had 80 bands in Bank of America. Man, $80,000, man. And he said, look, man, the way I pay everybody, he said, look, my dad gets a certain amount of money every month, and he makes sure I'm good, man. He was like, look. I can pay you anything you want to, long as it's like around the fifth or the sixth or the seventh of every month, man. He said, that's when I get my money from my dad. He said, what I just showed you, man, this is just my money right here, man. I have money. Money is no problem, man. He said, I got acres on the street. I have everything, cars. He was like, look, man, money is not an issue, man. So my roommate like, damn. My roommate was like, look, I done sold some, man. I did some, man, but I got this left. He threw it to him. Oh, Vic caught that shit. He was like, what do you want for this? My roommate was like, give me 1500 He was like, deal, man, deal, man. He was like, what about you, man? I was like, you know what? I said, I'm just going to hold mine. I said, you might need some more. Like, let's take care of the debts first, bro. Don't get too crazy. You know what I mean? Let them know I know what's going on. Even though I'm not saying Vic was going to be on some petty shit, but at the same time, I'm just trying to let them know, like, what's, you know what I mean? Like, bro, just be easy a little bit. You know what I mean? So, boom. Goddamn. A little bit of time that went by. A little bit of time has went by, man. And the blood dude that I know from Norfolk, this is probably, and this is probably like the, I told you, he pays everybody like the 6th or the 7th of the month. And this is probably like the 20th, the early, early 20s in the month or the month before that we're waiting on the, the first of the other month. So my homeboy called me to the door. And he called me to the door because, of course, I know a million people seen dude coming in and out of our cell that day. You know what I mean? People has heard that we have the powder. You know what I mean? So I already know the word is getting out, long story short. So he called me outside the slider. So I meet him out in the slider. I come out. I'm like, what's up, bro? He was like, look, man. He was like, look. He was like, yeah, now y'all be rocking with the uh, the white dude. I was like, man, I ain't did nothing with him. I'm going to let you know. I ain't done nothing with him yet. I was like, well, he on my roommate, though. What's up? He was like, look. He was like, man, don't go too crazy with him, man. He said, because like sometimes he'll go overboard. He's going to pay the money. But he was like, the more people he owes, some people going to wait. And I just don't be trying to have people like, like, like trying to kill him over. I know somebody that's going to pay, but he'll go overboard, but he'll still pay. If you feel what I'm saying, I'm like, yeah, I feel you. But I was like, that's why I ain't giving him none of mine yet. I said, because I kind of wanted to see how everything play out. I was like, the fifth and the sixth is like, what, two weeks away? You know what I mean? Something like that. So I'm like, maybe two and a half weeks. So I'm like, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know how it's going to play out, bro. I was like, but he owed my cellar. And that's just what it is. He was like, yeah, bro, just don't try to go overboard with him. I heard y'all got the pot. Boom, 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 boom. Everything's straight, but this don't, you know, like, he was like, you know, I heard the old dude, the blood, the, the crypt dude, you know what I mean? Over in, you know what I mean? Over in 40 billion. He was like, look, just be careful, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's a lot. So boom, I go about my business. We go outside on the yard. Vic got a whole shitload of powder. So now we out there on the yard. I'm just standing by the cooler talking to my man. Goddamn, y'all know what Vic doing. He's running. The blood dude stop him. And when they, when he talk to somebody, when he running laps, he don't even stop. He stop and talk to the blood dude. He's still running in place. He like, yeah, man. I, I can't hear what he's saying, but I can see him. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but come on, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got you, man. You're good. Yeah. The crypt dude stop him. He ran in place for that. He like, you can see him doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, anything good. Anything cool, man. I'm like, this dude is a psycho. I'm saying in my head, I should stop him and see what's up with my roommate. Everybody else stopping his ass. So I'm like, this dude crazy. I'm like, white dude crazy as a bitch, man. He owe every damn body, but he pay his tab. The man pays his tab. The man is rich on the street. The man is filthy. His dad is filthy. He's from Roanoke, Virginia. He has a lot of damn bread. So look, boom. Everything going smooth, man. One day I'm standing by the microwave. It's probably like five days, six days after y'all at my roommate. You know what I mean? I'm standing by the microwave. I got my bowl of pizza in my hand. 
and I'm waiting to get in the microwave. So I'm just standing there just waiting. It's like a dude or two in front of me. So I'm just standing there, and then out of nowhere, I see that blue shirt with no shirt pull up beside me. And he pull up nice and he was like I said, he was a funny dude. And he was cool at times. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really had nothing against him. You know what I mean? I had nothing against uh white boy Vic, but he pulled up beside me, y'all. He was like, Man, sell me the rest of that shit you got, man. I know you have some more. I'm like, and I look at him, he's not looking at me. He trying to play it off on the pod. He like, come on, man, I know you have it, man. Come on. What are you scared of, man? I pay everybody, man. And I'm like, man, you already did all that shit. He was like, man, look, man. What do you want, man? He was like, got you, man. He was like, what do you think I'm not going to pay? He's like, pay every damn body, man. I don't play no games. My money is great A1. I have great A1 credit around here, man. Like, I'm telling you, man, don't worry about nothing. So I'm like, I'm like, man, look, I kept it always in my pocket. I really didn't have a lot, lot, lot left, but I showed him what I had. I'm like, look, this is what I got. You know what I mean? He was like, what do you want for this? I was like, I put it back in my pocket. I said, give me $1,000 on the 5th or the 6th or the 7th. I said, we a lot. Give me 1000 I told you I haven't made no real street money yet. So I'm like, give me 1000 off this shit. He was like, let me see it again. I whipped it out real quick again. He was like. He took it out of my pocket. I mean, he took it out of my hand. And before his hand can get away, I caught his hand. <laughs> I caught it. I said, look, Vic. I said, I ain't got time for the BS, Vic, man. Look, man, let's keep everything straight. I ain't got nothing to do with my roommate. I ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I need that $1,000, bro. He was like, okay, man. All right. Let his arm go. <laughs> Let his arm go. Boom. He went about his business. I went to the microwave. I went up there and told my roommate, like, look. I just gave bro, man, the rest of what I had left. I got tired of holding that shit, to be honest with you, man. I was like, I just went on and gave it to him. He was like, for what? I was like, for a thousand. So he said he owed 2500 to the sale. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, man, but that shit crazy. I was like, for real. I just felt funny about the whole thing, though. I felt funny when my roommate dealt with him for some reason. And this dude has been paying dudes through the years on the compound. So, boom. I can remember one day, a little bit of time go by, probably a few days. Now it's like almost the end of the month. And I can remember going to the cafeteria, the chow hall. And while we're in the chow hall, it was a good trade, so everybody went. And while we're in the chow hall, I look up and I actually see the jean coat. I see Vic in there and I see him talking to the crip dude from 40 building. Now, the way they did the chow on my side of the yard, you can eat with either pod sometimes, either building on the yard. Like 40 might be first, and then after 40 building, they'll call 30 building. If, if somebody from 40 building want to catch somebody from 30, they'll just lay. And then 50 building to come in, you, if 50 building come in second, you will have to lay for a second because 30 building is last. So this man actually waited for our pod to come in there. So when we finally come in there, I guess he sent the message that told Vic bring his ass to the child hall because Vic never really went to eat. Vic in the child hall, you see him. The blood set on the, 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 the left side of the child hall. The crooks used to sit on the right side of the child hall. I don't think it's like that now, but when I was there in the beginning, that's how it was. I don't even think it was like that like later on, but in 09, 010, it was definitely like that. So when I look, he's over there with the, with the crips, and he's at a table with three other dudes and the main crip dude, and he's talking to the to crip dude, and I can see him talking, and the conversation is normal. I ate, boom, I get up to leave. Me and my homeboy get up to leave. So as we're going back to the building, sometimes they will have roadblocks. Like a roadblock is they'll block you from going, like if another pod is going to the child hall from my, my building, they'll do a roadblock, which means tell you stop. It'll be a seal right there to make everybody stop, and they'll let that pod go to the child hall. The reasons of that is because they don't want nobody beating for no more food, getting back in the line twice, beating the deuce is what we call it. So that's why there are roadblocks, regardless if it's 40 building or it's, they'll do roadblocks all around the perimeter of that yard. So boom. We get to the roadblock, which was right by our building. So the dude from 40 building has to go down to 40 building. The CO dude that's at the roadblock, he's one of these CO dudes that don't give a shit what happens. As long as nobody dies, he, you can gamble in front of him. You can smoke weed in front of him. You can uh, you can fight in front of him. As long as nobody dies, he doesn't care. So we're right there at the roadblock. And I see the crip dude talking to Vic. And as he's talking to Vic, like, it's three other more dudes right there. It, would, it didn't look like it was nothing that was, that was like, on some crazy conversation. But they're standing right there, and Vic is kind of, like, to his left shoulder. And then he just kind of moved away. And they're, like, beside us, kind of, like, so I'm right there. Now, Vic owes both of me and my roommate now, so I'm definitely trying to be nosy. But I wasn't in their conversation. But as he's talking to Vic, all of a sudden, all you seen is him, he just was like, bah! And, man, this man, Vic said, ah, oh, shit. Fuck, man! Fuck! Come on, man! What the fuck, man? Fuck! 
man. I'm going to pay your fucking money, man. What the fuck was that for, man? So everybody like, oh, I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, shit. The CO dude, he like, he got a smile on his face. because he. I think he probably thought Vic was going to attack back. No, Vic didn't attack back. He was like, and he's just looking at the junk. Dude said, man, listen. Dude pulled his pants up. The crook dude said, man, listen. You better have my goddamn money, man. You got to tomorrow to have my goddamn money. You don't think I know what's hell going on in here? I know about, I heard every fucking thing. You better have my shit. I wanted tomorrow. I was like, oh, Vic was like, fuck, man. Fuck, dude. Man, Vic went in the, in the, in the building. I was like, oh, me and my homeboy walking slow like, Crip dudes went down to 40 building. I'm like, oh, shit. I look, my homeboy said, man. I said, yo, that's fucking nuts. Boom. I walk in the jump. It's my word. I walk in the building. I see the blood dude coming out of my homeboy. The blood dude, he coming out of his pod. And he like, yo, hey, yo, what happened, bro? I was like, I oh, don't know, bro. The, the, the crypt dude just smacked the dog. Doodle shit out of goddamn Vic. He was like, what? He going to do it. He said, yo, Vic. I walk in my pod now. Boom. He was like, yo, Vic. Yo, Vic. Dudes was like, he right there. Vic was on the phone. Vic was on the phone. He was like, man, was still holding his face. He like, man, he on the phone. Dude go up to him. He's like, yo, dude, come in the pod. The blood dude come in the pod. He like, look, what the hell happened, bro? Vic like, man, fuck that shit, man. I'm just going to pay him his money, man. He was like, you going to pay him his money? He was like, yeah, I'm just going to pay him his money, man. And, you know, this is what it, that's just what it is, man. And this and that, this and that. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm seeing that, first of all, he has broke the rules by paying early. You know what I mean? I didn't know he can pay early. Because if he can pay early, I want my shit early. I don't give a damn how much you owe everybody. That's how I started feeling. So now I'm just feeling uncomfortable about the whole thing. So the blood dude like, man, all right. He mad as a bitch. He shoot back to his part. My homeboy, he shoot back to his part. Boom. We go to the child hall for dinner. We go to dinner. Goddamn, the blood's over here. The crypt's over here. Next thing you know, you see the blood dude from my on my building. He's talking to the crypt dude. They're having a conversation. The conversation slightly heated. They're having a conversation. They're having a conversation. They have a conversation. Boom. Everybody get up to leave. We going back to the building. They're still talking. Massive bloods, massive crypts. I'm trying to get the hell away from that shit. Man, I go back in the building. I tell my roommate, look, bro. Dude just smacked the dog shit out of goddamn Vic earlier, man. Like, what the hell we gonna do, bro? Like, he owe us. My roommate like, man, he gonna pay, man. Them niggas ain't gonna, like, bro, they just be trying to scam. He like, bro, we gonna pay, bro. We gonna pay. My roommate was really nonchalant about that whole situation. But I wasn't because I done got burnt too many times. And I done risked my ass to go to the V room to get that package. So I wasn't being nonchalant about it. On the low, I really wanted my goddamn money. That's my word. So look, boom. I'm like, damn, they had a meeting and shit. You know what I mean? But after they come back from the child, man, I look, I walk to the, I looked in 31. That's the part that's right there to your left. So when you walk in the building, you can either look that way, look forward, or look at my part. It's a part here, a part there, a part there. 31, 32, 33. I looked to my left. When I looked to my left, I looked upstairs. There was a lot of dudes up there in the top corner. My man's cell is close to that cell. Another dude that I rock with from Norfolk in there, his cell is close to that. So I was hoping that it won't him. So I see uh, the commotion. Something is going on up there. I go upstairs to my part, walk all the way around where I can see his part on the top tier, and I get my man attention. Tell him, come down the stairs. He come to the jump. I'm like, yo, bro, you got to talk sign language or read your lips. I said, bro, what happened, bro? He was like, shh. Gang members. I read his lips. Gang members. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. He was like, over that white boy. I'm like, what? I'm like, that's crazy, man. Boom. He get the slider pop. Boom. He come out. Yeah, there he come to my jump. He like, look. He was like, yo, this is my word. He was like, look, why the blood do such and such? Just sent a couple of his homies to smash these two crip dudes, man. He said, they smashed them. They beat them up, bro. That's word. He was like, it's going to be some shit tomorrow. I'm telling you, it's going to be all like, damn, boom. I, I go back in the pod. I'm like, damn, it's all this shit over the fucking white dude. I'm like, this is nuts, man. This is crazy right here. Like, this is really crazy right here. Like, all this violence over white boy Vic. Vic got dudes in here ready to kill each other. So, the next day come, boom. Vic has the money for dude, the crypt dude. He see him in the cafeteria in the child hall. He sat with him again, and I guess he paid him his damn money. I witnessed it. I'm like, he did something because he didn't get his ass whooped again. So he had to pay dude. So boom, the blood dudes down there and beat the crypt dude up. The dude got his goddamn money. And next thing you know, it was, I guess, from him getting the money from Vic, that killed everything that was going on if something was going to happen in the child hall that day. You know what I mean? That morning. 
when we went outside for wreck, this my word, man. We was on the yard, and everybody knew it was tension. You know what I mean? Behind this. Everybody knew it was tension. Man, but Vic ass got saved because he paid that money early. So, boom. Man, they go on the yard. They go on the yard, man. Some of the dudes on the outside, some of our dudes on their side. It's Bloods and Crips in both buildings. You know what I mean? You see the blood dude that I know talking to the Crip dude. They're having a one-on-one -on -one at the fence. And they're talking. The conversation is getting crazy. Dudes start cursing. I'm standing back over there by the fence where the exit is at. Kind of just watching the whole shit. Next thing you know, y'all. Dude, start thumping out that bitch. All you seen was, man, it was like, I'm not going to say it was a bunch on bunch, a bunch on a bunch, but it was like five on this side of the yard fighting five on, you know, it's Bloods and Crips on each building. They get to the rumbling. The shit just go up. It was like a baby ride. It wasn't no crazy shit, but they get to the rumbling. The blood dude that's, that I know, he get to rumbling. He jump into a fight that his homies was rumbling right there. He was right there. The Crip dude jumped into a fight, and they all fighting over white boy Vic, man. I'm like, this shit crazy as hell. And the whole time they fighting, Y'all know what the hell Vic doing? <laughs> he seen that damn fight. He, he took his Bluetooth out. He was like, I mean, all his Bluetooth, his earbuds. He was like, <laughs> he kept running. <laughs> That's my word. Vic didn't give a shit. Vic kept running. When I witnessed that, I'm witnessing both things. I'm witnessing Vic response, and I'm witnessing how this fight happened. Man, the police ran on the yard, broke that shit up, locked everybody up, man. Everybody that was in that fight, they put them in a hole and transferred their dumb ass, man. The blood dude that I know got transferred, and the crip dude got transferred. I'm looking at this shit like, man, this shit crazy as hell, man. Like, damn. But you know what? I said, me and my roommate survived the storm. God forbid. It was crazy. I don't want to like to see dudes go to the hole, but it was two birds with one stone. Like... They tried to kill each other over this money. Like, you got to get organized for this money. But at the same time, I was thinking about doing the whole time what the Crip dude did to get my money early because it's too much going on. So, boom. They go down. They had us on lockdown for like three days. Three days at the most. You know what I mean? Vic is still up to his old shenanigans. He's safe now. He's not going to die. Out of nowhere, y'all, a Crip dude moved in our building. A crypt dude moved in the same pod that my man that was a blood in. He moved right across the hall. And he was kind of a bigger dude, bald head dude. You know what I mean? Had a little size to him. You know what I mean? Like he was in his early 30s. You know what I mean? Didn't play no games. Crip or not, he don't play no damn games. So out of nowhere, I look up. I'm thinking me and my roommate survived the damn storm. I look up. I see the dude hollering at Vic. You know what I mean? This is another heated argument. Like, damn, the Vic, oh, him, he just got in the building. Man, Vic walked away from him. I was like, yo, who was that? He was like, look, that's the Crip dude, man. The Crip dude, that's his homie, man. He's saying, he sent the message out saying, I still owe him $1,000, man. He said, for me taking so long, he taxed me $1,000, man. He's charging me another thousand fucking dollars, man. He was mad as shit. His face was red as hell. I was like, another thousand dollars? I was like, man, look, man. I said, all right, look, man. He was like, you know, I'm just going to go to the hole, man, and get my tabs right, man, and just tell my, my dad's ready to cut me off. Somebody hit me already, man. I'm just going. When he said the hole, I'm like, the hole? You're going to go to the hole? If he go to the hole, nobody's getting paid. He's not going to go back there scraping bills and come out. No, he's not. It's just been too much shit going on. So I'm like, the hole? I'm like, hold on. I go and say to my roommate, look, let's go holler that dude across the hall, man. Let him know, like, yo, bro, he got, it's, a, it's levels to this shit. We got to holler at him, bro. He's like, all right, fuck it. We go over there. I knock on his door. I said, yo, bro. I said, look, man, Weezy, bro. It's my roommate, Red. I was like, I know you don't know us, bro. I said, but look, we dealing with the white boy, man. I know you, you know what I mean? You say you owe your man a whole lot of shit going on. I was like, bro, but he bought to get the money on the six and the seven, bro. He told us that you got the pressure on him. He got to have the money ASAP. And if he don't have the money, this is going to happen to him. I was like, bro, he ready to check in the hole. He was like, well, let his ass check in the hole. He any compound, he going. He's a dead man. He was like, he's a dead man. He started all that shit with my homies, man. He was like, that man got to pay another thousand dollars, man, tomorrow, bro. I'm like, shh. I'm like, damn. So I thought about it, right? I could have had a major falling out with this man. You know what I mean? My roommate gave me the look. I looked at him. I was like, it was not worth it to me, y'all. Why would I beef with this man? That's a no-win situation. I beef with him. I'm going to beef with the Crips. Nobody's going to get paid. I'm going to get transferred. Nobody wins but Vic. I was like, shh. My roommate was nonchalant. I was like, man, we went back. I was like, you right, bro. Dapped him up and left. Went back. Went back to the uh, our cell. 
My roommate was like, man, he gonna pay that shit. If he don't, fuck him, bro. Like, some powder. I'm like, man, I ain't looking at it like that. I went over there and risked my ass to come get that shit. And now, this is happening. No, I want my damn bread. So, boom, they call outside rap. We didn't have the yard that the, uh, when Vic usually goes out there and run laps, they had the ball, the ball field, like the soccer field shit. So, boom, Vic didn't go outside. I seen him didn't go outside. I looked, I noticed. I was like, oh, he went back in his cell. Boom. Everybody went outside. Everybody went outside. The whole damn part of like two old heads over here that ain't gonna say nothing. They mind they damn business. So much shit happened when people go outside. Man, it's my word. I thought about it real hard, y'all. I thought about it real hard. I was like, you know what? I'm a scumbag for this. But this is what prison do to you. It turn you into a savage warrior, man. You be a savage warrior. I said, I'm a scumbag for this, but I have to do it. This is what I'm gonna do, man. I made my mind up. Boom. I scrapped up. I put my sweatpants on. Threw my Tim's on. Tied tight. You know what I mean? Went downstairs. Got down there. Went to Vic's cell. Right up under our cell. Yo. I'm like. You like, come in. Open the door. I was like, what's up, man? You like, what's up, Weezy? I'm like, look. I was like, look, man. I need my money tomorrow, bro. I said, matter of fact, can you do it tonight? I said, matter of fact, I need my money tonight. I see, I need my money tonight, bro. I ain't got time for you paying somebody else before me. The pressure on you. I got to keep waiting to the 6th or the 7th. All that dumb ass shit. I said, I need my money tonight. He was like, but I'm not going to be able to do it tonight. Bah! I hit his dumb ass. He was like, what the fuck, man? I grabbed his dumb ass. Boom! I put him on his bed. I put my whole knee in his goddamn chest. He on the bed. I got my knee on his chest. I'm on top of his ass. I'm like, Vic, I need my goddamn money tonight, man. I said, can you give me my money tonight? He was like, I'm not going to be able to do it. Smack the shit out of his Vic, you not gonna give my money, man. I'm not. Bah! I just start hitting his ass. You stupid, man. You dumb ass. And I'm not proud of that, man. I'm not proud of the story. But I had to beat Vic ass, y'all. That's my word. He paying everybody else first. He going through all this shit. And then now, he about to pay another dude who just mysteriously popped up. Some of he owed taxes first and all this other shit. And he told me checking into the whole. No. Hell no. Nah. You don't win on this one, Vic. Or the Crip dude don't win. You know who wins? No goddamn body because nobody's getting paid. Man, I beat Vic ass and I told Vic, I said, man, look, get your ass out this pod. If you're not getting my money tonight, I don't want to see you tonight, bro. Get your stupid ass out this pod. I just felt like doing that. I was just fucking saving a lot of dudes from destruction because Vic is a fucking dangerous person without being one, man. He's just run laps and get high off everybody's shit while everybody's killing each other. He's running laps. No, that wasn't going to be me. I wasn't going to kill the crip dude over this money. Fuck no. I'm going to kill your stupid ass. Get your dumb ass out this pod, man. This is my word. While he was fucking balled up, I got up off his ass. I pushed his ass. He fell off the bed. Boom, boom, boom. Went in his locker. He had a bag of hygiene. I took that shit, man. Give me this shit. Went in the junk. Grabbed all his food. Man, give me this shit, man. I ain't even. That shit was like $40, $50. I was, give me this shit, man. I looked out the door. I had the laundry bag. Went out that shit. Went up and stayed in my cell. Old head seen it. They was the only ones to see it. I didn't even tell my roommate about this. So if you're watching this, bro, yeah, I had to do it. This is my word. Went upstairs. Outside rep was coming back. I looked. All I seen was that Gene coach just going out the door. Never seen Vic ass again, man. Ever. We didn't see him again. He was done. He was out of here, man. Get your ass out of here, man. If I can't get paid, nobody getting paid. The hell you think you can keep making the rules, paying all these? No. He was dealing with a different type of maniac, and I needed my bread. It was petty, y'all. I don't pray on the weak, not just because he was a white guy or none of these things. I just needed my bread, and the way things was falling up, falling, that's the only way I felt like I can have a W. I felt good after that. The blood dude didn't get paid. The crypt dude didn't get paid. My roommate didn't get paid, and I didn't get paid. You know who else? Vic, get your dumb ass out of here. Find drugs another compound. Vic was out of there, man. Vic never came back on the compound, y'all. It was a rap, man. And that's the end of the story, y'all, man. But that's why I tell y'all, don't come to prison because prison turn you into a person you don't want to be. I had to do things in there to survive, man. You understand? A lot of the things I'm telling y'all, I don't be proud of. I'm not going to hold no stories back when I was a scumbag because you have to be a scumbag in prison. 
Sometimes it happens, man. And anybody who tell you they didn't, they a damn lie, man. Everybody prison is damn near the same, man. There's a few different politics, but other than that, it's the same shenanigans going on, man. So avoid those crazy shenanigans, man. Stay your ass out the way, man. Don't come to prison, man. Just keep living a good life, man. Keep eating good food. Keep seeing great women, man. Keep driving nice cars. Keep putting on great clothes. Enjoy your goddamn life. You're going to be stuck when you're in prison, man, with none of those things, man. So all I'm saying is enjoy your life, man. Don't be one of those dudes that go to prison and you be the dude to pull your player out and be like, yeah, I used to look at me, bro, on the street, bro. I got all this shit, bro. Look, I had this on the street. I Look, look at the clothes I had, bro. Look at the... Man, nobody trying to see them old ass pictures, man. That's a rap, man. I'm not going back to prison and showing dudes the pictures I was taking. Man, that's whack, man. You don't be that guy. Stay your ass out the way, man. That's all I'm going to tell y'all, man. But let's get it, man. Turn me up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, share, and subscribe. I told y'all. Send it to somebody in y'all contacts. Somebody needs to see staying out the way, Trey, because we going up. We on the road to 10K. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. That's what we doing, man. And with that being said, y'all, stay y'all ass out the way. Get your money, you don't care who judge. Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love. Stay out the way, if you a gangster, killer or thug. Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above. Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood. Stay out the way, kick it with your girl for getting hit in the club. Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up. Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was. Stay out the way. If you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement Now your name on affidavits and court indictments Can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes